Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. Let's look at the website for the global version of War of the Visions. And uh, this was put up yesterday or today. And so, yeah, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see if there are any changes. And then um, I'm personally most interested in seeing how they uh, translate the, uh, the names of the places and the characters. Uh, but here's the top of the screen. We have some videos. I'm not going to watch them. You can watch them on your own time. Uh, but looking at the place names, uh, they all got the same names. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Crystal Sanctum. I don't know if I would call it that. I'd maybe call it the Crystal Church, but not a big deal. Alright, Spring 2020. My guess was Summer 2020. So this is quicker than I was expecting. That's cool. Uh, but I guess you can only do it on the uh, Google Play Store so far. And if you pre-register... Oh, nice artwork there. Who's that in the middle? I don't know who that is. No, that's uh, Mashiri, actually. Okay. Uh, but anyway. Uh, here is the story. I would like to maybe do a video about how I wish they would improve the story uh, for this game. It's actually really, really good for a mobile game, um, but if you compare it to like some of the console games, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, Ogre Battle, uh, that series, uh, it's missing some things, so I would like to talk about that later. Uh, milestone rewards. These are, uh, yeah, a certain number of people that have registered. Um, so you can get these uh, lapis. Uh, I guess they're called Visit or vi like vision plus or put together. That's pretty awful. <laughs> I wish I'd just call it lapis. Uh, 200 lapis is a uh, single pull in the hatcher to get one character. So you need 2,000 to do a 10 shot. And then energy restore uh, L's. These are very, very important, especially for free to play players. And then uh, you can get the Excalibur. This is a great sword, uh, it's easy to uh, max the level. And uh, yeah, still using it now, uh, three months later in the game. Still one of the more powerful swords. And then lots of different classes use uh, swords as well, so uh, really good to have. Uh, it's only available for the first maybe two and a half, three months. Um, so if you start a new account after uh, that time, you won't get the Excalibur. Uh, milestone four, more uh, lapis, I'll call it. <laughs> And then a, uh, a drop of Siren. Uh, this is fine. Uh, she's a, like a standard, like rare uh, Esper card. Uh, so it's not too hard to get her, but the more copies you have of the character, uh, the more you can raise their uh, crystal level uh, to make them stronger. And then uh, Milestone 5, you get a Yashutra. Uh, that's fine. I think they would hand her out anyway, even if they didn't reach this milestone. Uh, because they have like an event immediately for her to get her shards. Uh, but yeah, you would want to uh, get this Lapis at least. And then Milestone 6, more Lapis. I don't think this was originally a part of the, uh, the JP thing, uh, but just because so many people registered, they added uh, another tier, I think. Okay, Characters and Kingdoms. I guess we can look briefly at the characters. Uh, main character here, Monto. Uh, they got rid of the O at the end here, so Mont, I guess is his name, Leonis. And then for the voice actor, they list two people, the English and the Japanese. So that kind of makes me think that they'll, they'll put the Japanese voice acting as an option into this global version, which I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in. And uh, Monto's brother, uh, Shutaru, in the Japanese. I was kind of thinking maybe it would be um, Stare, uh, which is German for death or something, or dying. Uh, but here it's Stern. Stern works too. And their father, Erude. I guess that's how you spell that. Uh, this guy too. Uh, I want to talk about him when I talk about the story in this game. Um, the way that they make you care for certain characters, and uh, how they're not doing that great of a job with some of the characters, like this guy here, but uh, maybe I'll talk about that later. Uh, here's Helena. She's cool. Kind of a minor character, but maybe with a uh, mysterious past. Uh, Ridishu, or Lilith here. Kind of uh, Monto's older sister, not related. 
Uh, Ramada, she's popular, nice thighs. And then Kiton. Uh, hmm, I don't know if I agree. Well, I agree with the spelling in that it, the pronunciation is right. The last E is silent, it makes the O sound like O. Uh, but Kiton, that is a name of a uh, ninja skill. Uh, it's like a fire uh, attack. And uh, yeah, I just spell it K-I-T-O-N. I don't know, I don't think I need that E, but very minor quibble. <laughs> All right, let's look at the horn house. Here's Mashiri. Mashiri. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got her dad, Rob. Yeah, that's an easy translation. Shoes at it, though. That works. And Engelbert. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty good spelling. And Jiza. That's fine. Shadow Lynx. That's easy. Uh, Adelard, Adorado. Yeah, that works. And then, uh, Salia. Sa Sarie. Saride? Sarie? <laughs> her name is Salia in the uh, Japanese, which I think is easier to say. I'm still trying to pull her. She's an uncommon character, but I just can't pull her. Oh well. Here is Fenes. They might be like the bad guys. Here is Muraga. That's the same. And then, uh, Ryuryu. They kept that the same. No voice actor. Which is strange, because he does have lines. And then a Binetta, that's cool. Okay, Wezet. Gracera, Gracera. Gra Graciela, Graciela, okay, that works. Wezet, that's fine. Um, a lot of people are waiting for her. She hasn't been released in JP yet, but she's a popular character already. And then her dad, Cooley. Cooley, hmm. Okay. <laughs> no voice actor, but he also has lines. Maybe they haven't recorded him yet. And then the Crystal Sanctum. Here is Sadari. He might be the big bad guy. Uh, Muraga from before, he looks like the big bad guy, but uh, maybe spoiler alert, he is being mind controlled. Maybe by this guy? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Dorado. Cool. Uh, Gagaras. Fine. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> All right, well, um, they translated uh, these characters' names. Uh, this character in the uh, Japanese version is uh, Tsubayaki, and then, uh, yeah, if you translate it, it's Murmur. Here is uh, Sasayaki. If you translate that, it's Whisper. And then here is Inori, which actually means uh, prayer, but they translate it as Grace here. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh well. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so that's all the characters that they are showing now. That's cool. And then system and game features, battle. Uh, yeah, this looks the same. You got the uh, limit break animations. The uh, the font in game that looks pretty good. Sometimes uh, you get a weird font when you uh, you know bring a. Um, RPG over from Japan, but that looks pretty good. Looks pretty consistent with the uh, look of the game. Units, all right. Yeah, we have all the elements here. Uh, this game is a little bit deeper, maybe, than, um, say, like a Monster Strike or something, which has five elements. This one has eight. And, uh, yeah, fire is strong against ice, is strong against wind, and so on. It's not like a uh, pentagram or whatever, where they, like, cross each other. It's just a uh, circle. And then the light and dark work well on each other. What else we got? got? Some character artwork. Got all of the jobs and more. <laughs> and the ability board, which is very fun and interesting. Uh, quest. All right. The voice actors are actually really good in the uh, JP version. Maybe it's just that voice acting is just improving over the years in uh, Japan. Uh, but yeah, everybody's pretty good. And then these are like uh, hard quests. These don't really have any um, like impact on the story. You just go to here to play a uh, quest to get more drops of characters that you already have. Like here, this is an opportunity to put more story into the game. Like, talk to, like, townspeople or something, but, uh, yeah, there isn't that in the game. 
so far. And some story. Great. Okay. Espers. I should say that overall, War of the Visions, it doesn't really feel like a Final Fantasy game. I mean that in a good way. It feels more like an ogre battle game. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that in a uh, future video. Um, but like Espers and then Chocobos and Moogles, uh, they're like kind of the only Final Fantasy feeling thing that you have in here. Uh, but despite that, it stands really well on its own characters and story and world. Uh, so it's a pretty well put together game. Uh, but then you put the Final Fantasy-ness on top of that. And uh, yeah, you could have a, a home run here, maybe. I'm really excited for this game to come out in Global because I think a lot of people are going to like it. Uh, you shouldn't pass on it just if you've had a, a bad experience with Brave Exvius. Uh, Brave Exvius was a really poorly run game. I don't know about it recently, but yeah. Um, War of the Visions in JP so far has been a really well run game. I'll maybe talk about that in a future video as well. And here is equipment. In the beginning, I kind of avoided this because I saw it as like a uh, time sink and a uh, material sink. Uh, but it's not too bad as long as you don't go crazy and try to max out uh, everything. And then vision cards. This is kind of controversial because they get mixed in with the, uh, the characters. And so if you get a rare uh, pull, it might be a character or a card. Uh, but I really like the cards. Uh, the artwork, they really put a lot of effort into them. And then it's kind of a callback to the old uh, Ogre Battle series, so yeah, I do like them. And then, um, like, equipping your guys and leveling them up and then giving them certain equipment and then these vision cards, it can really change how uh, your team, like, functions against other characters. And, like, these vision cards, they become very important in uh, PvP, so yeah, they play an important role in this game. And I guess that's it for the system and game features. And then we got Facebook and other stuff. Okay, well I think that's a look at the front page. This is about on par with uh, what was on the front page of the uh, JP version. So yeah, well, I think we'll just have to wait for uh, maybe videos from the uh, official channel. And then of course for the uh, release of the game itself. All right, pretty exciting. Uh, I will say here that I am not going to play the global version of War of the Visions. Uh, just one of these games uh, takes a lot of time, so I don't need to play more than uh, one version. Okay, well that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.